Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to continue our material regarding vessel vessel basic design. In this video, we will explain the vessel part design, especially radial nozzles and flange. Well, before we continue, please support this channel by subscribing FN Engineering channel and like our video. Thank you. Alright, here are our outline explanation in this video. First of all, I will show to you some previous video recommendation before you watch this video. Because this video will be related to this explanation. Then, we take some required data from the data sheet. After that, we will use some reference and equations to calculate this case. Finally, we will solve the case for the radial nozzle and flange of the equipment. Well, first of all, you have to watch some video before you watch this video. So, you will be more understanding regarding the concept of the design. For puzzle puzzle series, you can see some videos such as nozzle thickness calculation of puzzle vessel which attach to the shell and to the head. Design of flange in pressure vessels, nozzle reinforcement design of pressure vessel from part 1 to part 3. Then, pressure calculation, including maximum global working pressure, maximum lower pressure, and test pressure calculation. Impact test evaluation, part 1 and part 2, and flange rating, maximum lower working pressure, and maximum lower pressure calculation. Meanwhile, for vessel vessel design, we have to watch vessel vessel basic design part 0 or introduction, part 1.1 or mechanical data sheet, and part 1.2 or shell and head calculation. The link video had written in the description. Go to the next slide. In this slide, I will show the given data from the data sheet to calculate nozzles and flange. We have some nozzle with size pipe from 2 inch to 24 inch and thickness schedule 80 and 160. Meanwhile, flange design use welding neck, raised face, and class 150. There are two different types of nozzle, namely radial nozzle and non radial nozzles. Next, here are the summary of input data to calculate and evaluate nozzle and flange. We have some radial nozzles, such as nozzle 6 inch for N1, N3, and N5, nozzle 4 inch for N2, nozzle 3 inch for N4 and N8, nozzle 2 inch for N7, and nozzle 24 inch for the manhole nozzles. In addition, we also have some non-radial nozzles, including N10, N6A, N6B, N9A, and N9B. We can see in this illustration the difference between radial nozzles and non-radial nozzles. Then, we write some notes from the data, such as nozzle 6 inch using thickness schedule 80, the nozzle 4 inch and smaller using thickness schedule 160, flange rating using class 150, and flange type welding neck raised face, and only nozzle M for access maintenance. In addition, we have some design data and material, such as design pressure 220 PSIG, design temperature 150 degrees Fahrenheit, minimum design metal temperature 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Equipment using fully radiography, coarsen allowance using 3.2 mm. For the material, we use SA106 grade B for pipe nozzles and SA516 grade 70 for nozzle from the plate and forge flange using SA105. Then, we will show some reference and equation. From this calculation, we use UG16 for the minimum thickness for the shell, head, and the nozzles, 
UD27 and Appendix 1 for shell thickness calculation, UG37 for reinforcement calculation, UG40 for the limitation of the reinforcement, UG45 UG for the nozzle neck thickness calculation. For impacted evaluation, we use UCS66, Figure UCS66 1 and 2, and Table UCS66. Lastly, for the design of the flange and fittings, we use ESME B16.5. In the next slide, we will solve the study case for radial nozzle and flange. For radial nozzle, we will do thickness calculation, limits of reinforcement evaluation, area calculation, maximum overlocking pressure and maximum rubber facial calculation, and impact test evaluation. Meanwhile, for the flange, we will analyze rating selection, maximum rubber locking pressure and maximum rubber pressure calculation, and impact test evaluation. For detail, I will show the calculation in the speed sheet file. Well, here is the speed sheet file for the calculation. First of all, we will calculate the radial nozzle. There are many data here, so I will explain carefully and slowly to easily understand. We give some color in the speed sheet to distinguish the type of data. There are yellow color for the input data, green color for the calculated data, blue color for the assumed or defined data, the brown color for data from the database, gray color for the confession data, and black color for no data. Then, we have some subparts in this calculation. They are cell data, nozzle thickness calculation, other data or paid data, correct condition and limitation of the reinforcement, area calculation, maximum rubber pressure and maximum rubber pressure for the nozzles, impact test evaluation, and flange calculation. We will explain one by one for all parameters in this spreadsheet. For shell data, we need three parameters, which is global stress of the shell, shell finish thickness, and shell required thickness. For detail, these values are obtained from the previous video or Vessel Vessel Basic Design Part 1.2. Then, we go to the next subpart of nozzle thickness calculation. There are four different sizes of the nozzle, which is nozzle 6 inch, nozzle 4 inch, nozzle 3 inch, and nozzle 2 inch. The nozzles are jointed to the shell by, by insert method or sitting. We input the design data, such as design pressure, design temperature, minimum design metal temperature, and corrosion allowance. The value are 1.52 MPA for design pressure, 65.56 degrees Celsius for the temperature, zero degrees Celsius for the minimum design metal temperature, and 3.2 mm for the correction allowance. Then, we define joint efficiency 1 because of full radiography. After that, we find the value of global stress at design temperature and ambient temperature from BSME section 2D table 1A. We get 118 MPA for the global stress at design temperature and ambient temperature. In addition, we find also the outside diameter of the nozzle based on the nominal pipe size from SME B36.10. We get 168.3 mm for nozzle 6 inch, 114.3 mm for nozzle 4 inch, 88.9 mm for nozzle 3 inch, and 60.3 mm for nozzle 2 inch. Then, we calculate the outside radius of each nozzle 
from the outside of the nozzle divided by 2. We get each value 84.15 mm, 57.15 mm, 44.45 mm, and 30.15 mm. For information, there is no credit condition at the outside nozzle. Then, we calculate the nozzle required thickness use equation 1 in appendix 1, 1. We get 4.28 mm for nozzle 6 inch, 3.93 mm for nozzle 4 inch, 3.77 mm for nozzle 3 inch, and 3.5 59 mm for nozzle 2 inch. After that, we calculate the minimum thickness of the nozzle based on UG16. We define 2.5 mm because of compressed fluid. So, TUG16 coordinate condition is 5.7 for all nozzles. In the next step, we calculate the nozzle required thickness based on UG45. Nozzle neck required thickness or TA is equal to TRN. There is no external pressure. So, TA is equal to TRN. Then, we define TB1 or vessel required thickness. We get 12.51 mm from the previous video. Next, we find TB3 from the table TUG45. We got 6.22 mm for NPS 6 inch, 5.27 mm for nozzle 4 inch, 4.8 mm for nozzle 3 inch, and 3.42 mm for nozzle 2 inch. Don't forget to add correction allowance for the correct condition. Then, we define TB from a smaller value of TB1 or TB3. The smaller value is TB3 for all nodules. Lastly, we calculate TUG45 from the maximum value of TA and TB. Our larger value is from TB3. So, the minimum thickness of the nozzle based on UG45 are 9.42 mm for nozzle 6 inch, 8.47 mm for nozzle 4 inch, 8 mm for nozzle 3 inch and 6.62 mm for nozzle 2 inch. Based on the required thickness value, we define the nominal thickness of the nozzles. We find the nominal thickness from ESME be 36.10. We get 10.97 mm for nozzle 6 inch or schedule 80. 13. 49 mm for nozzle 4 inch or schedule 160 11.13 mm for nozzle 3 inch or schedule 160 and 8.74 mm for nozzle 2 inch or schedule 160 Don't forget to consider 5 under tolerance 12.5% from the nominal thickness so, we get the finish thickness of the nozzle, 9.6 mm for NPS 6 inch, 11.8 mm for NPS 4 inch, 9.74 mm for NPS 3 inch, and 7.65 mm for NPS 2 inch. And the thickness is acceptable because the finish thickness is larger than required thickness. Or everyone, because the explanation is very long, I divide this video into two videos. So, we can go to the next video. The link video will be written in the description. See you in the next video. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video. Subscribe to FN Engineering channel and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.